Godspeed Traveler and this video is going to be all about my Ladakh ride. So in past multiple videos I have already spoken that uh, I am travelling to Ladakh this year and the date is finalised, it's May last week, I am starting for Ladakh right here from Bangalore. So we will be covering around 8000 km from Bangalore and back to Bangalore. We will be covering multiple states, we will be going through Telangana, we will go, we'll be going through uh, Madhya Pradesh. UP, Punjab, Delhi, uh, Srinagar, like Jammu and Kashmir and then Leh Ladakh region and then coming back via Manali. So yeah, that's gonna be our usual route but each and every details you are gonna be seeing. Definitely it's not gonna be the usual journey which uh, other vloggers take. I've definitely made some twists and turns in the video as well as in my journey. So hope you follow me for the Ladakh ride, the upcoming northern rides. So yeah, you'll be going to uh, see all those details there. But this video is not about the journey. This video is about the preparation for the journey. So while preparing for this journey, I'm gonna be packing a lot of stuff. I've tried to keep it to minimal, but since I'll be vlogging also, so definitely there will be uh, some luggage which I need to carry that is necessary. So again, I am making this video in hope that you guys will be uh, also traveling to Ladakh either this year or in coming years. So this video might be helpful for you because in this video we will see what are the different things that I am carrying for my Ladakh journey. Stay tuned. <laughs> I have divided the things I am carrying into certain categories so that it will be easier for all of you to grab it down as a list and make it your basic uh, blueprint for things to carry to Ladakh. So the category number one contains all the essential things as well for your body that contains your apparel, your gears and everything. So yeah, let's uh, quickly jump into that. So. As we know that the apparels are something that stays really close to your body apart from your bike for protection of your body and weatherproofing of yourself. So yeah, that basically defines the category number one. So here we have the riding pant uh, from Mototech. This is a new pant which I've been using it uh, for quite a few months but not really in any long journey. It's been mostly going through some breakfast ride and some, some overnight weekend rides but yeah this will be a good test of endurance for this riding pant and i'm pretty confident seeing the sturdy quality that it will be performing really well now i have the riding jacket from rhinox uh, this i have been using for the last couple of years in my maharashtra ride in my uh, gokarna ride so yeah it's been really good uh, it's been serving me very very well and I am confident that it will do the same during this journey as well. I have my uh, radium band here which I have bought. So this I will be wearing over my riding jacket. So that the fellow riders riding with me will be able to spot me easily. As well as the other big vehicles like truck, bus etc. will also be able to uh, see me as it increases your visibility. Now the next thing is riding gloves. So this is the riding gloves from Rhinox. Uh, it's a half gloves which I'll be using during my plane rides because uh, it will be summer time in the planes. And apart from this I have two more gloves here for you. So one is uh, the Viatera uh, gloves. So this is a full gauntlet gloves. I've been using it for a couple of years and it's been doing pretty well. It's uh, it gives you a great protection, I would say. But again, uh, in summer times, it's a bit of a hassle because your hands start sweating. So maybe may use this uh, when we get into the Himalayas, the mountains. Apart from that, I have this uh, 
waterproof uh, touring gloves from BBG that is the biking brotherhood it's it can be used uh, for rain and uh, for winters so yeah that what I am gonna be using so apart from talking about the rain so I have these rain gears also so this is the raincoat pant which comes with the uh, mototech riding pant and uh, this is a raincoat which I bought from Decathlon so it can be used as a wind cheater during cold weather as well as in rains so I can wear it over my riding jacket apart from this I have here a couple of goggles uh, yeah these all I bought from uh, Decathlon itself it's not that expensive branded and all it's uh, below 500 600 so but it's all polarized and gives you good protection so yeah and this is my power glasses so I use it for my uh, work on a laptop so while I'll be transferring some data during vlogging so yeah I'll be needing that as well now coming to the normal clothes and winter clothes so you I have actually segregated it into different pouches so it it's easier for me to use it and then keep it back or else if it keep if I keep everything in a big bag it's it's kind of get mixed and it's difficult to segregate so yeah the first pouch has some uh, winter wear so this these are part some thin gloves from Decathlon which can be used when I'm not riding just uh, roaming around and then this is a neck warmer again I bought this one from Amazon online if you want it let me know I can share the link in comments this is a, a woolen cap which again I got from Decathlon so <laughs> yeah it looks fun and it will protect my ears and my head from winter now this is an interesting one because this is a warmer which can be used inside your gloves so when I am riding definitely there will be some cold winds which will be hitting my knuckles even with the gloves sometimes it freezes and I know this from the experience so yeah these have some pouches inside which can be put inside your gloves and it will keep you warm I'm sure you will be aware of this if not then you can go to Decathlon and get it if you are planning your journey for Himalayas apart from this I have two more things here one is the uh, thermal liner for upper body and one is the thermal liner for lower body so yeah these are my winter gloves uh, winter stuff apart from this I am also gonna be carrying one jacket which is a minus 5 degree jacket from Decathlon and unfortunately I don't have it right now uh, it's on the way so I'll be getting it by today or tomorrow so yeah uh, I'll probably put a photo somewhere here for you guys to see that how it looks like yeah apart from this uh, this is my normal cloth so again this has one normal t-shirt two dry t-shirt one track pant and one jeans which definitely be very useful for me when I am riding so yeah those are my normal clothes I am trying to not carry too many clothes because I will be kind of washing my dry fits and using it again so yeah that's the idea behind it trying to travel light apart from this I have one pair of normal shoes which I will be using when I am not riding but visiting the places inside a city or inside a place and definitely a pair of slipper and here we have the toiletry kit with all the essential things like uh, comb, cream, face wash, toothbrush, toothpaste etc etc so yeah this is also important so I'm gonna carry that so th this concludes our category number one coming to category number two that is your survival that survive I won't call it survival kit but more of a important part of your journey to for your uh, well-being so these things are definitely part of your category number two so that is first of all I'm carrying two mobile phones this is my main mobile phone which I will use I'll be using for uh, clicking photos and uh, staying connected to my family and friends 
and apart from that this is my secondary phone that I'm gonna be using for navigation on my bike as well as as a secondary phone if in case my primary phone uh, stops working due to battery loss or some other reason then I can rely on my secondary phone apart from this this is my wallet I know uh, I'm going into smaller details but yeah I thought it would be useful for you guys so yeah this is my uh, wallet which has all my uh, Aadhaar card driving license and all other important documents apart from that the credit and debit card and money so yeah that is another thing then this is my uh, carrier document carry bag which basically have my uh, uh, the photocopy of my permit as well as my passport size photo and any documents which is necessary by the way all these things I will be putting down in the description so please go and check the description section of the video after you complete watching this video so that you will get the complete list of the things I'm carrying under each category. Now coming to the survival part. So yeah, definitely four oxygen cans I'm carrying because uh, as we know that Ladakh, Hanle, Umlingla, these are really uh, the land is situated at really uh, big height so AMS is a common thing there especially for a person like me who is going there for the first time so I want to be prepared but I hope it, it doesn't come to that <laughs> yeah next thing is this medical kit so this one has all the medicines the essential medicines related to uh, diarrhea fever vomiting uh, gas issues or uh, first aid and other kind of uh, basic medicines it has and basically for getting all these medicines I have consulted a doctor a physician near my house and yeah I got the list of the things that I can carry and yeah he suggested all those things and I got it apart from that since I am traveling in the summer so I am also carrying ORS and Glucon D which are part of this medical kit so that in case I need it I can get it this is a thermos which I am going to be carrying so this thermos will basically help me keep the water cold or warm as per my uh, use case <laughs> and uh, these are some use and throw paper glasses which will be good in case I need them and then here is the hydration bladder which I also use for my Maharashtra ride so yeah I, I definitely will be carrying it as well the capacity for this is 2 liters so it's good when you're uh, riding on a bike so that you don't need to open your bag and take out your water bottle every time you can use this uh, to keep yourself hydrated and it's really useful during the summer's time so yeah uh, this is uh, what I'm gonna be carrying in category number two let's move on to the third category so the next category is the bike maintenance and security category so here we are gonna carry all the things that is related to the bike because our motorcycle is the most important one of the most important thing apart from ourselves on this journey because it is the thing that will carry you right from Bangalore to Ladakh and right back to Bangalore so definitely I am trying to take care of my bike on this journey and for that I am gonna need some t things and tools so that comes in this category let's go one by one so the first thing is a couple of microfiber clothes which I am gonna be carrying this will help my bike to get clean without getting any scratches so yeah that's what I'm gonna do the next thing is this uh, basic toolkit from KTM if you have any other toolkits as well you can carry it but I am NOT an expert in uh, repairing the bike so I'm gonna be carrying this basic toolkit so that in case there's a small issue then with the help of my friends and trying something I can help myself but again uh, not an expert so I'm just carrying the basic toolkit apart from that uh, this is a MI tire inflator this is important because uh, some places in Ladakh is pretty remote and uh, if your tire gets punctured then it's difficult to uh, get air in those areas so yeah this is something which is important so yeah I'm carrying it 
you get this uh, charging cable also with this apart from this with the tire inflator you also need a tire puncture kit so this is the uh, puncture repair kit from grand pit stop which i am going to be carrying again this is something that works for a tubeless tire and since, since my bike has a tubeless tire so this will be very helpful for me uh, in case you have a tire with a tube then uh, please select the appropriate product i will also be carrying uh, this uh, m seal as you can see inside and then this duct tape which i've used in my earlier rides also so yeah in case uh, there's some kind of fix needed so yeah this will be helpful i also have two big ass uh, mad dog fog lights so for that i have these filters this is yellow filter and inside this box i have a clear filter which i can use as per the need uh, apart from that for the security reasons uh, places you need to lock your helmet or even your bike so this is the lock which i'm going to be carrying this i bought from decathlon this is a, a gadget cleaning kit so i can use it to clean my helmet uh, screen as well as my laptop screen whenever i need it yeah then this is a uh, moto jack uh, from grand pit stop so when i want to do a chain maintenance and ktm 390 adventure doesn't have a center stand so this will be useful for me to do that now coming here to these different uh, cans so let's go from here so uh, this is a chain loop by motul c2 so yeah and this one also is a chain loop again the same thing so yeah i am carrying two chain loops here from motul apart from that this is a c1 chain cleaner which again is very useful because from time to time you need to clean your chains also so yeah i think every 400 or 500 kilometers i will try to loop my chain and every 1000 1500 kilometers i will try to clean my chain so appropriately i have kept these three cans again it will be very very hot in the plains area especially in the northern region of uh, punjab uh, himachal as well as the uh, delhi area up area so that's why and we'll be riding continuously for 8000 kilometers so uh, obviously uh, day after day there is a small risk of fire so that's why i'm carrying this fire extinguisher just to keep my mind at peace hope i don't need to use it apart from that uh, this is wd40 from pitlight which i am going to be carrying because it's important to have these kind of sprays in case due to rain or any other issues some of the parts gets rusty or jammed this spray right here will be very helpful in that this is a stp heavy duty brake part cleaner which again i am carrying because i want to take care of my disc brakes also so yeah this will be helpful in cleaning that and uh, yeah this is a very popular brush which is chain cleaning brush which again is useful in maintenance of your chain and these are some loose clothes which i am going to be carrying for uh, maintaining and cleaning of my bike and chain so So yeah these are the things that comes under this category for the maintenance of the bikes. Let's go to the next one. Okay guys so the second last category is the luggage and miscellaneous category. So what is the luggage system that I am going to be using during this ride and some of the things which I couldn't find a spot in the other category so I have used it in this category. So let's quickly delve into it. Uh so The first thing is this Rhinox Expedition Trail Bag 2. That is a completely storm-proof, waterproof bag, and I have tested it in hardcore weather. Not a single drop of water went inside my luggage. So yeah, I am going to be using this, and this will def carry my uh, medicines, my documents, and some of the things which I need a quick access to. So that all things I will be keeping in this bag right here. apart from that it will also have some vlogging related things like camera and batteries which i'll be showing in the next section so those things i'll be using uh in this category in this bag 
apart from that i have this uh, gr pack uh, luna from grand pit stop so this is a shoulder bag as you can see it's open right now <laughs> but i will try to show so yeah this is a pretty high quality bag so yeah it's open right now so yeah this is pretty much it this will have my snacks water and uh, some uh, important uh, things like wallet and documents again now the next category next thing is uh, this this is a air seat from figo this is called figo sales support if you have not seen the review and unboxing of this read this stuff then you can go and watch my other video on my channel i'll link it uh, in the i button and down in the description as well so yeah this is definitely helpful to avoid that sore bum and increase your ride time so yeah this will be permanently be sitting on my motorcycle apart from that i have the main luggage system here that is the viatera uh tail bag this is 70 liters bag it has two big pockets for keeping your jerry cans and 60 liters uh, of stuff you can keep it here so all my clothes my apparels everything my uh, footwear all these things will go inside this bag right here apart from this we have here the 5 liter jerry can from fuel mate so we have two jerry cans so it will enable me to carry 10 liters of petrol in the remote areas of ladakh where you don't get petrols easily so yeah that will be that and uh, i also have here the a pipe and a pump system so in case uh, my petrol is over and i need to uh, pull out fuel from other car or other motorcycle or even from my bike to other people then this will be useful in that i also have a filter paper here filter cloth actually so in case i need to buy open petrol from the ladakh region then at least uh, to uh, avoid any impurities entering into my bike engine i can use this to filter out the petrol this is a small pouch which i'll be using to carry all the keys so whether it's my home key or the extra bike key all those things and even the lock keys so everything will go into this pouch yeah and here are some loose uh, plastic bags which i am carrying so this this will uh, help me to protect my luggage in case of uh, in case the waterproofing casing or the rain liners fail and also in case of disposal of any garbage to keep india safe and clean himalayas clean specifically i'll be using this as a dustbin bag also apart from this the last thing which is very important is this let me clear it out so these are some eatables which i'm carrying so here we have some pizza some cashews some chikki bars some uh, roasted garlic peanuts some dates dry dates some kismis raisins and some murku as a snack which i'm going to be carrying in case i'm not able to find food so this will help me sustain so yeah that's pretty much in the miscellaneous and uh, luggage so guys this is the last category of uh, the luggage or the things i'm carrying to ladakh so here uh, as you can see there's clear uh, dip in the quality of the video because now i'm shooting with my phone since i need to show you my gopro as well as as it's part of the things i'm carrying in this category so yeah if you're a vlogger or a photographer and you really want to capture the scenic beauties of ladakh either for your youtube or instagram or even uh, for memory purposes so definitely these are the things you need to carry let's again delve into it so this is the first thing uh, this is my laptop uh, it's definitely right now it's just the cover but yeah i'll put my laptop inside this so the laptop then the second thing is this pouch i'm carrying which uh, will have all the wires the chargers so these are some of the uh, 
USB and C type charge charging cables. These are my chargers. Here I have the laptop charger. This is my uh, second uh, again uh, secondary camera. And then uh, this is a motorcycle charging point. These are some of the mics uh, for vlogging, which will be useful. So yeah, all these things I'm carrying here, I have some power banks, two power banks I'm carrying. So all these things will be encased in this pouch. So yeah, all the wires, batteries, charging hubs, all those things will be here. Apart from this, I am also carrying this extension board, which has uh, so many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8 charging points and 2 USB charging points. It's a heavy duty uh, charging port which will definitely come in handy since I need to uh, charge multiple devices at the same time. Next thing are these two uh, uh, gimbals or tripods you can say. So this is a tripod by Ulanzi which can be used. Uh, it's a gorilla pod basically which can be used for uh, uh, camera whether it's a GoPro camera or a mobile camera or even a DSLR so all those things can be used in this one here this is a Yantrale mini tripod which you can use it uh, for vlogging now this uh, definitely helmet is the part of my riding gears but the thing I want to show you here is this one this is my uh, GoPro Hero 10 this is the most expensive camera which I own. So this will be my main camera, the main view of the road from a biker's third version perspective. So yeah, here I have a charging uh, port which can also attach to my mic adapter here. And uh, here inside I have a connector for recording my voice which goes inside and uh, mono mic attaches inside the helmet. So yeah, this is the vlogging setup which I'll be using during my Ladakh ride. Apart from that, uh, this is a secondary camera which I have. This is SJ6 Legend. So again, this will also come in handy. I will be fixing it on my bike to show you uh, my face and my body so that uh, we make a good connection and uh, I'll be able to show you the all around pictures. So yeah, these are the things that is very essential for a vlogger, which I have tried to keep it to minimum. So yeah, these are the things I am carrying for this category. So guys, uh, I hope that this video was helpful for you. This video was useful for you. And I was able to provide you the necessary items that you need to carry for your Ladakh ride. If you have any suggestions or anything you feel that I have missed, so you can definitely comment down below on this uh, video and you can let me know. Also, if you are coming to this channel for the very first time, then please do subscribe to my channel. Do like this video and also refer to the description section for the complete list of items which I may or may have missed uh, in mentioning in the video. So please men uh, comment down below and refer to the description section to actually refer to the complete list of items which I am going to be carrying for my Ladakh ride. And uh, definitely it's a dream come true that I am finally riding to Ladakh after 3 years. So yeah, I mean I need all your good wishes and uh, in case you, any one of you are traveling to Ladakh this year, so do let me know, we can catch up somewhere at some point. Till then, keep riding, keep exploring, this is Amrit and do watch Godspeed Traveler. Peace out.